so today we'll start uh, whatever discussed yesterday again i will discuss method and discuss method types uh, what is method so generally we will write business logic as part of method so here sequence of statements which performs particular task is called as method so meaning is you can write multiple lines in order to achieve the task or work that is called method basically one more rule is there we can't write any logic directly inside the method with uh, sorry inside the class without method so so here we will achieve code reusability using method so here method contain two parts so here method signature and body so body like you want to open brace uh, or curly brace open and curly brace close so what the syntax so here access modifier the access modifier is nothing but visibility visibility of it of your class or of your method of your variable so and then return type return type and method name method name so end with the parenthesis and then open brace close brace this is called block inside the block you can write the business logic business logic so here generally method may or may not return the value method may or may not return the value that is purely based on the requirement so here method may or may not return the value to the caller to the caller caller means from where you can call the method definition so generally so you can call the method from main method or some other class that is the called as caller that's it okay so suppose method should not return value then return value to caller caller means to who from where you can call the method then simply simply mentioned return type as wide that's it wide so here suppose method wants to return something to caller then keep primitives or non primitives as return type return type so here as of now i am not at all interested to return any value to the main method or caller simply keep it as white so m1 so here generally this is the method definition generally we will call this method definition from main method some other class so how to call this one suppose assume so this method is available inside the class called a inside the class here this is the method how to call this one can anyone how to call it out get out one no no step one create an object, object to the class wherever method is available step one step two on the reference variable we'll call the method call method on reference variable so here a dot m1 whenever we'll call the method like this first it will 
dot nothing but m1 dot belongs to dot nothing but belongs to a a indirectly pointing to a class so java mission verify whether m1 method is available as part of your class or class called a or not it is available simply hand over the request to the main method called m1 and m1 process the request and you response directly to the end user rather than hand over the response to the caller okay observe here <coughs> yeah yesterday we discussed this one so here your method return type is what white white means it it does not return anything back to the caller caller nothing but from where you can call the method that may be main method some other class so whenever we'll call like this first m1 method is available or not as part of the class it is available hand over the request to the m1 method m1 method process the request and give response directly to the end user rather than hand overing the return type return uh, returning value to the caller any questions up to this any questions hello any questions no sir no sir yeah so one minute i will share again this screenshot now so that is the method what we discuss now simply suppose you want to return something so for method return value to caller so how to return it so anything is fine as of now up there here i will design some method and then i will explain to practical so here public int m1 so what is the return type here guys what is the return type integer 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 means what is the meaning of integer so here addition of two suppose i will perform addition of two numbers ah huh. now here int sum is equal to n1 plus n2 here we want to return the value to the caller you can use one keyword that is the keyword name it as return so simply we use return sum means here this method process the request and you response to the caller instead of sending directly to the user that is the meaning okay so i will show you practical then you can understand now calling method step 1 create an object to the class where method is available step 2 call method and capture the response in one temporary variable temporary why because this method return integer so after processing after processing this data by the method call m1 so same response is hand over to the caller at caller side we will capture that data on a temporary variable and display to the end user that's it Any questions so observe now i will draw the diagram class a one minute class a inside the class a public ah uh, in m1 n1 is equal to 10 int n2 is equal to 20 int sum is equal to n1 plus 2 n2 now return sum ha huh. any questions up to this definition any questions guys sir no 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 sir now generally execution generally this is called method caller or definition method definition or method caller 
with a definition okay so general sorry sorry with a definition yeah now general execution start from where main method right main method. So, yeah this is assume java mission or uh, jvm jvm will start the execution from main method so here java virtual mission later we'll discuss slow one by one now here class driver public static wide main string args now here this is here create an object where method is available step 2 on the reference we will call the method so this is called caller from where we can call the method this is called caller any questions sir hello yeah sir one more door sir hello yes tell me yeah we can use for uh, method in uh, parameter sir then i will uh, what will, we'll output, will output output will come we'll discuss we'll discuss method with the parameters later okay. we'll discuss don't worry okay 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 sir yeah one by one i will go next step only now so whenever we'll try to execute driver class first jvm verify whether driver class contain the main method or not if main method is available get satisfied after this what is the first step creating an object to the a class creating an object generally we will create an object by using new operator so object is created by using new operator so creating an object is nothing but allocating some space to your class variables and methods after this call the m1 this is called caller from where you can call the method this is called caller this is called method definition any questions now it will verify whenever we call a dot m1 so java mission verify whether m1 method is available or not if m1 method is available hand over the request to the request to the m1 method now m1 method process the request ah huh. what will happen what will happen and it will return the process request. request and again give the response back to the caller right from here we'll capture the response so clear yes, Why? because here return is there return nothing but hand over the return uh, some some value or output to the caller that is the meaning response so now main method is responsible to send that output to the end user previous example directly caller method definition only send the response to end user right here main method is responsible send output to end user that's it any questions Yeah. Any questions? Sir, when JVM not found a main method, then what will happen? Just to set if main method is available, just start the execution one by one. Okay. Yeah. Sir, sometimes JVM not found main method, then any exception occur when we compile. Ah, yes. Suppose main method is not available, no such main method available. If main method is not available, it will not allow further processing. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Now we'll discuss uh, written type. So generally, four types uh, methods are divided into four types based on the arguments and written type. Observe here. First one method without written type and without arguments step to method without written type with argument uh, and 
with arguments next one method mm. with return type with without our arguments return type and without arguments mm -hmm. ah method with return type with, with the arguments and with argument. arguments so now clear guys your question clear First one, what is the meaning? Huh. So method uh, method return anything or nothing? Hmm. Sir, method is nothing but function. Yes, method is called function C C P P. Okay. Yeah. So here method without return type nothing but anything written to the caller. No right. Then simply keep it as ah uh, why clear. And method take any arguments without arguments, nothing but arguments you can pass zero. Zero arguments. Any questions for this? Any questions? No. Yeah. Now observe here. So I am going to design method without written type and with uh, without uh, arguments. Yeah. Observe. Yeah, so what is the method written type? What is the method written type? Void. What are the arguments we can pass? We pass it to the method M1. No arguments. No arguments. Now this method is suitable. This example is suitable for this one. Yes, exactly. Now how to call this method? How to call the method? From main method, method, we should use. Sorry? In main method, we should call this class J dot create object, and we have to call that method. In no, main method. In main method. In in main method. In main method, we should call the dot create an object to the class A and call the method, right? Yes. The reference. Yeah, one minute. In go to driver class. So here, observe here. Create an object to the class and call the method. Now run a Java application. Yes. So I will, guys, I will go very slow or very fast. Is it okay? As of now, how to class going on? Yes, sir. Is it okay? Is it okay, okay sir? Yeah. Now, go to driver class. What are the next category? Uh, without written type and with arguments. Yes. So without written uh, written type means void. Void. Huh. With arguments means you can pass some values to the method, right? So observe yes. here. Suppose written type is not required. I will pass the arguments int n1 comma int n2. Clear? Yes, sir. Huh? Okay. Yes, sir. So here int someone is equal to n1 plus n2 and print this result. So why because i am not at all interested to return anything to the caller and main method please observe immediately throw error boss method without arguments not there so please put the cursor here uh, observe you must and should pass the arguments clear 10 comma 90. any questions run as no, java application is it easy or difficult guys easy sir yeah, hundred. Now, oh. 
Uh, what is the next category? Hmm. With written with type. With written, with with written, written type means you can keep primitives or non-primitives as written type and without arguments. Don't pass any values. Huh? So you can can you pass any values? No. No, right? Now here. So this method did not take any arguments and it will take red uh, integer. Now observe. So simply in 10 1 is equal to 10 in 10 2 is equal to 90 now here return please observe now observe uh, from return nothing but it will hand over this response to caller after this what is the next line what is the next line what is the next line Display the value. Public static void mm -hmm. main. We have to create the object. Yeah, so we after return keyword, it. once we can design the method with written keyword. After write, designing the method with written keyword, so don't write anything. If you write anything, yes. we will get the error unreachable code. Please read the error. Yes, sir. Read the unreachable error. Code. Unreachable yeah. code. So don't write anything after written keyword. So here, meaning is this method is responsible hand over some response to the caller here in caller you will catch capture that response and from caller itself we will display some response to console or end user yeah now observe any questions I know it is little bit uh, tough. Why? Because uh, initially, or uh, you go through net as well. All the main logic should be written inside the main method, right? Now today we separate out main logic, main method logic into separate class. Initially, it will take tough. No need to worry about. Okay. Yeah. Any questions up to this? Any questions? No. What is the last category? With written type with argument. Hmm? With written type and with arguments. So your method should take the argument and machine should return the value. Suppose here I will pass 10, 90. This method go here, capture the values. Yeah. Return something. That's it, right? Yes or no? Yes. yes. Now run it. Yeah. Any questions? Any questions, guys? Is it as is it easy or difficult? Sir, it is hmm? necessary to write a return. Sorry, your voice is not audible. Sir, it is uh, necessary to uh, write a return some. No, that is not necessary. That is the based on the requirements. Suppose you want to return something to other class, return to other class, then you can go for return type. Otherwise, simply keep it as white based on the requirement. That is purely based on the requirement. Okay. So can you try one example? Okay. So here, okay. check number is even or odd. So this this method will take arguments. Okay, and return something. Huh. I don't know. Can anyone drive this program? Anyone drive this program? It is possible to solve uh, by uh, using mod. If we uh, divide a number by two, uh, if we find that there is reminder available, then we will find odd number. Otherwise, it hmm. will. Okay, we will try super super. So here you machine should pass the value and verify number even. Okay, one I will pass one argument. Okay, ah here if ah n1 mod less by 2 equal to equal to 0, 
ah then return ah even return else? even even else. number else sort of else odd number odd number so this is the string right so now what the return type you, what is the return type string yeah, into the place we should put string that's it any questions no sir yeah is it easier difficult guys easy sir so whatever we discuss controller statements and condi uh, condition statements loops can you try with like this with methods all of yes, you sir. can you can you take it as homework yes sir sir which memory is required for method oh don't worry generally method area is there method area method definition are stored method area i will i will inject slowly okay what is heap what is heap what is stack what is method area i, I will i will discuss slowly one by one okay okay yeah objects generally stored in the heap area reference variables are stored as part of the stack and methods are stored as part of the method area okay we'll inject we'll inject slowly one by one don't worry as of now blindly practice what is method method with return type method with return type without arguments with arguments we'll practice with loops and condition statements slowly we'll inject one by one 